Uh, I'm here uh, with you today because I believe that the future of America rests uh, without being able uh, to elect uh, young men and women with the knowledge and background and experience and dedication of Josh Mandel. I believe that it's important for people like me who have had the honor to serve to do everything we can to help another generation of Americans lead this nation in a very, very dangerous world. The 21st century will pose great challenges to the United States of America, both domestically and foreign policy-wise. Our nation has never faced a greater and daunting debt than the one we face today, $15 trillion debt that we have piled on to our children and our grandchildren. Just in the last four years of the Obama administration, they've added $5 trillion to our national debt. It is reckless and irresponsible. It is a danger. It is a danger to the very physical stability of this nation. If we keep this up, we will be in other Greece. Believe me, we cannot stop it. And when you look at the President's budget, you will see there is no end to the deficit. There is no end to it. And what did we do during the first two years when he had overwhelming majorities in both the House and the Senate? With the help of Senator Brown, we passed Obamacare. Obamacare passage was the sleaziest thing I've seen in the United States Senate. But they didn't bring the lobbyists into the White House, as the President, the President promised. They brought them into the Blair House. And they bought off the, the, the AMA and the hospital association and the pharmaceutical people. And the first thing they did was cut Medicare by $500 billion to pay for it. And then they went and bought votes in the United States Senate. One thing we called the Corn Husker Kickback, you may recall. The Louisiana Purchase. It went on and on and on and on. One of the most sordid chapters in, in the years that I have spent in the United States Senate. Josh Mandel believes in integrity. He believes in careful stewardship of the taxpayer's dollar, just as he believes in careful stewardship of the taxpayer of Ohio's doctors, uh, tax dollars.